Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell Tipton. I'm with Compass Rose Realty. I'm here with Meko Davis, a real estate appraiser. And uh, I just want to ask Meko, what are some of the things that um, you see when doing an appraisal in the homes? What would be some things that may come up with cause homeowners to need to do for foreclosure? Okay. Well, for FHA and USDA, uh, those type of loans, uh, the, the main one that gets called is peeling paint, of course. Um, and what I have to say about that is if, you know, if there's a frame house and, you know, it's painted, um, if there's any peeling paint, say you painted it, painted it 10 years ago, uh, and it started peeling, you'd have to scrape it off and then repaint it. Now there are exceptions such as, uh, if there was a Cypress, you know, house, you know, usually those are maybe stained or something like that, that those don't usually have to be repainted. You know, log homes are another exception to that. But there are ways around uh, having to repaint, you know, a surface right. such as a deck that doesn't have to be repainted. Okay. Um, that could be pressure washed. Right. You know, if it was painted before and now it's chipping, yeah, you can just pressure wash it. But uh, yeah, most of the time, if it's a if it's a surface on a strut like a storage building or something like that, an improvement on a property, you know, that if it has peeling paint, then that has to be scraped off, repainted because uh, there can't be bare wood, exposed right. wood. Okay. But uh, also, uh, just some other ones I see. Really, whenever I go into an FHA, USDA appraisal, um, I have to make sure that all the utilities are on, so that's, that's the main one, at the time of inspection. That way, I can test all appliances in the kitchen, gotta make sure all those are working, because anything that transfers in a contract to you know, seller to buyer has to be working at the time of inspection right. uh, for FHA and USDA. So we have to check all the utilities. Uh, so you gotta flush the toilet, you know, make sure that if it has septic, there's no you know, sludge or something coming out from outside. Um, have to get up in the attic to make sure there's no like charred wood or anything like that, some sort of attic fire or something previously. Right. Just a quick picture, head and shoulders inspection is actually what it's called. And it's the same way for our crawl spaces. We have to get under there and make sure that if there is flooding in the area, that there's no standing water underneath the house. So we have to make sure that there's a, you know, a barrier sheet, something like that. Um, have to make sure the central HVAC is working, uh, which we just click on, click off, make sure the fans, you know, on. Hot water heater, just test out, make sure that there's hot water, you know, in the faucet. Um, some repairs that I usually do see. Um, deferred maintenance, in other words, um, would be broken windows, which there's ways around that too. If you had a double pane window and you were okay with it, if one of the panes was broken, you could just take that pane out. As long as you have one pane, you're good. Um, and also what gets called uh, is, you always gotta be looking, appraisers are always looking for safety, um, just safety issues, you know, falling hazard, tripping hazard, something like that, that could, you know, get themselves, anybody hurt. Um, and one, one that I can think of is like, if you had a deck and then it was like maybe two feet off the ground and there was no railing, I, usually that's kind of where I call it. If it's two feet or higher, because I think two feet is probably about my, a little bit above my knee or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so there would need to be a railing put up and it doesn't have to be extensive. It just has to be something sturdy that would, Pass for FHA and USDA just so it you know satisfies the condition. But yeah. Well, yeah. Well, all right. Well, thank you so much for being here today and letting you know our potential clients know just some things to look out for to know what possibly may come along when selling your home. That um, you know some repairs may be needed there after appraisal. So just you know we just want you to be aware. And uh, again, thank you, Mako, for being oh, yeah. here. Appreciate it, sir. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody.